Hello, my name is Johan Falk. I'm a math and physics teacher in Stockholm, Sweden. And this is a quick video showing how you can find and make updates to Student Matrix 3 from version beta 2 and on. And there is now in the Student Matrix menu something called Settings here. And in the Settings you can find Plugin and Module Management. This will read all the and modules and plugins you have in your student matrix installation and you can also see the status of all these plugins and modules. Uh, I have now a clunky version of broadcasting new versions available to, to install and download. I have this in a spreadsheet somewhere and I can, let's see if I update here the files and folders plugin to say version 1.1 some new features have been added if you then go into let's reload this setting uh, plugin in module management you will find that you have an updates link here and if you click on that you will uh, get to uh, well be transported to a page with all the code in the new version of this uh, file this plugin and you will, uh, at the moment, and probably for a foreseeable future, copy-paste this, uh, have to copy-paste this manually into your uh, student matrix installation. So this is the Files and Folders plugin, version 1.0. If you close this and go into Tools and Script Editor, you will see all the script files used by student matrix. There are quite a few of them, but they're small, all of them, and that's, uh, well, that's very intentional. So let's see, files and folders, that's this one. All the text here, all the code here, should be replaced with the code here. So if you uh, select everything, that's Control A or, uh, well, Command A on a Mac, and copy. You can go here, select everything again, delete and then paste here and if you're like me you like a blank line at the end of each uh, code file and you hit save you can see this star here it tells you that it's not saved you can click here or do some smart uh, quick command to, to save and that should be it when you then re reload now this information hasn't really the version information hasn't really changed but next time you check the plugins and module management let's go back here and change to 1.0 next time you go into plugin and module management you will have no updates here ah oh crap okay so now I pushed the old versions, uh, uh, well, copied in the old version here. And if you don't have any reference, if you're using a module or plugin that doesn't refer to this sheet here, my magic sheet with update information, uh, you will have this code link instead. So you can view source code whenever you like and paste from that. Okay, and that's it. That's how you update code right now as a beta tester for student matrix 3 and there's a video here that's this video right now wow um, that shows you how to do this in case you forget see you some other time bye